Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Mr. Omega here and today I got a crazy sick nuclear gameplay on Black Ops 3 using the Weevil with some crazy attachments, crazy perks, and a crazy sick ass looking camel which happens to be, I think it's an epic camel but the camel itself, the name of it is iced i got it on the i got on the icr and i got in the weevil and all i have to say is that in this gameplay in the background hopefully if you guys are new to the channel you hit that subscribe button first and hit that like button next and third to full comment down below what you guys think about this gameplay it is the best gameplay i got in so far on black ops 3 which it, i i don't know what to say i'm impressed i it's about time i finally get a good 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 gameplay enough to be like oh my god this is my best gameplay this is a crazy gameplay uh this is my highest kd nuclear gameplay on black ops 2 black ops 3 advanced warfare and yeah it, that's pretty much it and it's an 81 kd nuclear gameplay uh, I want to say thank you to uh, you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you guys have subscribed, and for you guys that are watching the video, uh, you know, just watch the video, enjoy it, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this gameplay in the background. I was playing CTF with uh, three of my buddies. Well, actually, two. One happens to be Snake Eater, the other one happens to be Saint Pain, and then the third one happens to be Derek, a friend of Snake Eater. And the people that honestly helped me get the nuke was all three of them, but you know, Snake and then Saiyan and then well the other one kid as well, which happens to be uh, Derek. Derek isn't really that good at the game, but Saiyan and Snake Eater on the other hand are really, 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 really good. Although Saiyan has some shitty ass stats on BO3, he's not really good at pubs and he never dropped a nuclear on BO3. But besides that, he will one day and let's just hope he does and pray he drops his nuke. But you know, Let's talk about the gameplay in the background and the class setup that I was using with the Weevil. Alright, so let's get down to it. Um, the attachments that I was running on this Weevil class setup in specific happens to be Rapid Fire, which helps you win gunfights from closer to medium range as well. And another great, great, great attachment happens to be Stock, which helps you pre-aim and aim faster. So what I do pretty much is pre-aim and aim faster so I could kill people faster. So Rapid Fire, Stock, and last of all, this is... a uh, this is your choice, this is pretty much a choice that I decided to put, which was extended mag. Since most of the time I have myself uh, running out of ammo quick with rapid fire and getting into uh, gunfights with three or four people at the same time. So, if you guys want to drop a nuclear, uh, run those three attachments, stock, extended mag, and rap rapid fire, especially rapid fire. I heard the Weevil got buffed. I'm not 100% sure on whether it did or it did not get buffed, but all I know is that it is a beast gun. When the game first came out, everybody was on top of the Weevil. Everybody was using the Weevil. And after a while, they patched it. Then they patched it. Nobody touched it. Nobody used it. Everybody went to the Razorback and so and so and so. And then they patched the Razorback. But, you know, let's not get off topic. Let's just talk about the gameplay in the background. It happens to be, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a 67 gun streak, 60 something gun streak. But I don't really care about the gun streak. I just care that it was like 81 KD nuclear gameplay. It could have been probably an 81 and 0 flawless nuclear gameplay. Uh, not leave those by the way. But my buddy over here saying decided to, you know, um, go in front of me, get in my face, and get killed by the opponent and die for he was fortunate to know that he dies and gets killed. Then he fucking gets me killed because that guy that he did not kill, I expected him to kill. He ended up killing me, and we both died off our streak. So at the end of the day, I ended up dropping an 81 KD nuclear gameplay, but he did not get his nuke. But, you know, that's what he gets, and that's what he deserves for, you know, getting me killed off my streak in the first place. But it's whatever. So, the uh, uh, let's talk about the perks now before we get off topic once again. The perks that I am running here happen to be the best perk in the world which i'm gonna end up making a video about the best perk in black ops 3 which happens to be afterburner afterburner honestly guys i don't know what i would do without this perk and when next cod comes out if they don't have afterburner or if they have people that could <laughs> flank me but i can't really stay in the air for a while like i used to in aw or bo3 i'm gonna get destroyed because i love jump shotting in this game jump shotting is what saves my life and i discovered jump shotting about three to four days ago and when I mean I discovered jump shotting, I don't mean like literally I just discovered it and I started uh, doing it and, and started like to jump shot people. No, I used to jump shot on a daily basis as well, but I changed my settings to L1 and R1 so I would aim with L1 or, and shoot with R1 or so and so. And it really helped me because nowadays I win more gunfights in R2 and L2 are all the way in the back and sometimes they're slippery and it takes more effort to click on it so you have to click on it for a longer time. And sometimes you end up getting killed or end up losing the gunfight or your hand slips off and you end up dying. 
But in this case, I used Afterburner, Ghost, and Scavenger as well as Blast Suppressor. Blast Suppressor is a must because even though sometimes people don't look at the map, most of the time when I'm playing, when I'm literally playing without Blast Suppressor, I get killed by people that aim that way. And I check the kill count to see maybe they're running um, uh, awareness or maybe they're running uh, dead silence and they hear my first test clear. But no, that's not the case. The case is that I am using. Uh, or I am not using uh, Blast Suppressor. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. If you guys did, uh, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more gameplays and commentary on my own. Hopefully we manage to uh, drop another nuclear uh, later today or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'm playing. So all I have to say is peace out. Thanks for watching guys. And it's been your moments. Peace out.